So over here, you can see that I have notepad document opened up. And if I were to type in text right here, then that, that is it. But if you want to view details of uh, your notepad uh, file right here, then you can go around interview and you can enable the status bar. Once you do that, what happens is on the bottom, you got the status bar right here. So in the status bar, what you see is the line right here. So if I were to go around, click somewhere else, you can see that now this is line two and column six. So that is the sixth letter right here. If I were to click somewhere else, you can see that this is line one and this is column 11. So it's the 11th character right here. Similarly, as I type in, you see that this is line number six and column number 34. And you can also see the zoom level right here. So if I were to go to zoom and zoom in, you can see that it is 110% now. So if I were to press control plus right here, keep on pressing it, you can see that this is what you have. So it is 300% right here. If I were to go around right here and restore the zoom default, then this is what you have. So you can see that this is in UTF-8 format right now. That is the encoding for this particular text file. But if I were to save this out as another file format right here, so let's say I'm going to select uh, ANSI and then I'm going to go around right here and save this file out. Now you can see that it, it is in ANSI um, encoding format. And that is what the status bar does. It gives you extra information about the text file that you're working with. So that is how you can enable the status bar and then see the details in the status bar, bar while you're working with text inside of Notepad. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.